guys, it's Sylvie from Galore Flavors. Welcome back to my channel and to the newcomers, hello. Make sure to like my video and subscribe down below. Today we're gonna to be making a spiced ginger cake with a cinnamon minty icing. So here we go. Okay guys, the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our hot boiling water in a uh, glass bowl um, make sure that it's uh, heat proof, don't use plastic or anything. Then we're gonna go ahead and place the water inside your bowl and dissolve your baking soda in the water. Next, we're gonna add the molasses. All the ingredients are gonna be in the beginning of the video. Go ahead and mix this all up until you feel that your sugar has dissolved. Okay, so I don't feel any more sugar on the bottom of my bowl because it's pretty much dissolved. I'm gonna set this aside and go on to the next step. We went ahead and we set that aside. Now we're gonna add the dry ingredients. First, we're gonna add the flour. The nutmeg. The cloves. Cinnamon. Baking powder and salt. and ginger. Now go ahead and mix it all up evenly. All your dry ingredients. Oh my goodness, I can smell all those spices in here. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, we mixed this all up. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the oil and the eggs into our molasses mixture. So it's not scorching hot, it cooled off. Mix it one more time because your, your sugar already settled. It's, uh, it's definitely not gonna cook your egg when you break the egg in it, so don't worry about it, it's cooled off. So next you're gonna add your oil. And then you're gonna add your eggs. Can I do this with one hand? Oh yeah. And we mix the oil and the eggs. Now we're gonna go ahead and scoop it gradually and mix it with our flour. And we're gonna do it one third at a time. Okay guys, it's time to place the batter into your pan. I'm gonna be using an 11 inch pan. Uh, let's see how well it rises. It should rise. We're gonna have it cut. So let's see how it goes. So how we're gonna do it, we're gonna go ahead and place some parchment paper and line your pan. And then we're gonna spray your parchment paper.
Go ahead and run your fingers from the edge to the edge. Make sure there's no creases. If there is, it's okay. Go ahead and spray your pan, the bottom of it, just a little bit, just to stick the paper. And then look pretty. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and pour in our batter. And all you do is give it a good shake all around. Now we're gonna go ahead and place this in the oven. And like I said, we'll go ahead and give you an updated uh, actual time, how long it should take. I approximately think it's gonna be about 40 to 45 minutes. And uh, as soon as it bakes, we'll bring it all out. And then meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and start on our frosting. Next, we are gonna remove our cake from the tray. Thank you for watching Glora Flavors. If you'd like, click down below to subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes yet to come. You could also check us out on Instagram and Facebook. I'll see you guys next time.